Dancers is the new title from Boom Studios about two girls who are bounty hunters in Los Angeles. Now, if it sounds like it's a kind of gritty, domino-esque style story, I'm just not explaining it very well. No. Uh, okay, uh, important fact number two, they grew up in an orphanage. Yeah, that still sounds kind of dark. A kung fu orphanage. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Freelancers <laughs> is honestly about as dark and gritty as a triple fudge sundae. Absolutely. I mean, this is popcorn storytelling, yeah. and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. The hired guns are Val and Cassie, and they've been watching each other's backs ever since they were little girls growing up in this orphanage. Yeah. Writer Ian Brill really pushes for that buddy cop kind of atmosphere. Yeah, Just and, and, really hard. and fails. Most of the time, look, yeah. I get that this is supposed to be just, you know, silly fun, yeah. a silly plot, it's not supposed to be taken seriously, but we've seen this done a lot better. Yeah. I mean, stuff like Danger Girl jumps instantly to mind. It's not really fair to compare the two, well, Okay, okay, so we won't compare. Don't compare. Let me just ask you some questions. Oh, yeah? I'm scared, oh, yes. Okay, so first, mm -hmm. um, did you find either of these protagonists remotely endearing? Well... Okay, next question. Uh, did you laugh at any of the gags? Well... Third question, did you even enjoy reading this comic? Well, not so much, no. See, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. The writing is stilted, mm. the storyline just trips over cliches the whole way yeah. through, and frankly the banter between these, you know, buddy <laughs> cop kind of... falls as flat as the artwork. Yeah, now I do have to agree with you, the artwork in this is, well, less than impressive. Yeah. The character models are okay. Mm. The <laughs> And I do like that kind of uber cartoony style. Uh, it has its place. It's got certainly. its place, yeah. but yeah. they're just there's no depth to these images. None whatsoever. That's my biggest problem. But yeah. more than this, it's the action sequences. Now, Joshua Covey has got a lot to learn about visual continuity in oh, this. Oh god, yes. I mean, there is little to no cause and effect no. in these images, and especially as you say in the fight scenes, it just devolves into a series of disconnected visual snippets yep. that have no impact and leave you with honestly very little idea of what's going on. And that's a bit of a problem when mm. you're doing a story about kung fu bounty hunters. Mm. Like, you've got to expect that there's got to be a couple of fights a in one there. Or two, one yeah, or two, least. you know. Yeah, and yeah. if this first issue is anything to go by, they're all going to be kind of weak and confusing. Yeah, and punctuated by painful <laughs> one-liners. Oh, like, yes. I, 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 I'm oh. assuming that was a joke. Uh, I don't uh, know. Uh, but you know what? Before we write this off completely, <laughs> Let us talk about this comic's single saving grace. Ah, you, sir, are talking about Tiny Fighters. Yes, indeed I am, yes. my learned colleague. Now, <laughs> Tiny Fighters is a six-page story that happens at the end of this comic. Yep. Now, it's written by Matt Gannon with art by Philippe Smith, yep. and it's a flashback story that shows Val and Cassie as little kids growing up in the orphanage. And in six pages, it completely buries the main story. It certainly does. Yeah. The dialogue is snappy and funny. Mm -hmm. The visual style is amazing. The yeah. action has real impact. Mm -hmm. I wish that they'd kind of swapped the creative yeah. teams over because then freelancers would have been a way better comic yeah, than what it actually is. In everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but look, I've got, I've got to say, as nice as Tiny Fighters was, yeah. Six pages. It, it didn't save this comic. Oh. I mean, it, it, the main story is just too dire. I am going to give this one a berry. Avoid this comic. Oh, but we didn't mention the other saving grace of this comic. Which is? It's really cheap. That's true, You actually. can pick up issue yeah. number one for $1.25. <laughs> yeah. It's almost worth it. Look, please tell me you're not giving this one a buy. I'm not. Don't you dare. I'm not, but I'm also not burying it. I'm giving it a really kind of low borrow. If you happen to see it on a friend's table, do pick it up, have a flick through. I do recommend going straight to Tiny Fighters and then just putting the rest aside. But it's a borrow, but yeah, a low one. Do you know what another word for low borrow is? Bury. No, I'm not burying Kung Fu. It's not Kung Fu, it's just... It's illegal. I'm sure it's illegal to bury Kung Fu.